Hey everybody, it's Reed Kisselback. Today we're going all the way up to Lake Luzerne to the Adirondack Folk School. We're going to take some blacksmithing lessons and make a bottle opener. Come along for the journey. It's yours to explore. We're going to use heat and force to transform a piece of half inch square mild steel into a beverage opener. We're going to start by upsetting the end. Okay. So we're going to heat the end of this bar up. Yep. We're going to strike it, turning it back and forth like this. What we have here is we have soft coal. Yep. And when we heat that up, you see it's smoking here? Yeah. It turns to coke. Oh, okay. And you can feel the difference between a piece of this and a piece of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is way more brittle. Yeah. Yeah. So, as that coal coats, it becomes a really good fuel. Every time you put the metal in the fire, you're oxidizing the outside and you're kind of burning away a little bit each time. Gotcha. Uh, I know. Take this out. Do you have a You actually have a pretty good start on upsetting it. You can see it's already starting to grow. Yeah. Once it starts to grow like that, it'll, it'll grow faster. We don't want the heat to travel up too far so you can't hold it. So we're cooling it off down there. Okay. What we're trying to do is isolate the heat in the area where we want to change the shape of the metal. And then that goes back in the fire. My arm is going to be useless by the end of this. I can already tell. It's going to be great. Yeah, so you're going to work in here. Just a rounded face, my bad. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was rounded on both sides. So why is one side more flat and one's rounded? And you know, why does the Swiss Army knife have so many different blades? That's fair. <laughs> That's fair enough. Sometimes the hardest part of the blacksmithing job is figuring out if you're making a thing, what part of that has to be forged first so you're not right. in your own way. That is you a lot. You get in your own way when you first started. I sometimes still get in my own still. way. Okay, at this point, I think we could you can grab this yep. and that. You hold this. I hold that. And just uh, bend it and it should break off. There you go. You go back and forth a couple of times. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> now yeah. we gotta get down to the meat of this opener. So you're gonna come out here with the rounding hammer on the ammo. Yeah. And you're gonna go like this. See how that's rocked up? Yeah. And you're gonna hit it right there a couple of times. Okay. And it's gonna make a little step. Okay. Now hit it right at that point. Good. See what happened there? You had, you had drawn it out too far. Oh, so okay. by hitting it on the edge, basically you upset it again. Gotcha. And put it right back to the thickness you need. Gotcha. It's one of the neat things about metal that sometimes you can you can recover from those things. Yeah. So now we're ready to try punching. Cool. What am I doing for a first time? Then fine. <laughs> I'm gonna take five. It wasn't terrible, so that's good. I had a couple of 13-year-old twin girls here once who did a lot better than you. That's not surprising. <laughs> I'll take it though. I'll take I'll it. it. <laughs> I'm gonna take five.